Welcome to Be Your Own Best Coach with JJ. Today we are going to be listening to the wonderful Andy Liu. Now, Andy Liu is Australia's leading wellness expert presenter with 25 years of experience as a live TV and radio presenter and lifelong dedication to health and wellness. Author of six books, of which three are bestsellers, she has also owned and ran a wellness clinic for 13 years. Andy has appeared on The Morning Show, The Today Show, the Daily Edition and internationally acclaimed 60 Minutes. More recently, Andy has become a sought-after presenter and reporter for American shows such as Good Day DC, Good Day New York, CBS LA, KTLA and The Today Show, discussing topics such as parenting, relationships, diets and exercise or cultural and wellness trends. Among her highlights was hosting the Arnold, I like his, I like his name, Schwarzenegger Family Walk, where she introduced the former governor of California and well-known actor to Melburnians in Federation Square and is also the wellness coach for Miss Universe Australia and Miss World, inspiring pageant cont- contestants with a message of beauty with a purpose. Welcome, Andy Lou. Wow, I feel exhausted from my introduction. I've done so much, JJ. <laughs> and would you know, uh, basically, it used to be six books when you, I need to update some stuff because it's now eight books. And I've done more American shows, including New York Live as well. Yeah. And obviously, it, I just don't stop. I'm very wired and inspired. I love that. I love that. And that's exactly why I've got you on the show, because I think, you know, you've you've achieved so much and you're a working mum and I see you just put yourself out there every single day and I just absolutely love that and how you're inspiring others in regards to health and wellness. So I gave a bit of an elevator pitch for you. What would be your elevator pitch about who you are and what you stand for? Yeah, good question because a lot of people ask me, like, who are you, what do you do? I guess I'm a leading Australian wellness uh, educator and, you know, wellness experts being thrown around there as well. Um, I'm an author, so I'm a contributor, a leading contributor for all sorts of magazines. I recently wrote an article about my top 10 wellness predictions and trends for 2022 in Maxim magazine. And I featured uh, a brand called Nootropics, uh, sorry, Eutropics rather, which is a Nootropics brand, Australian leading Nootropics brand, all about brain health, which I'd love to talk to you about later because brain health is the new gut health. And yeah. people are really having a lot of brain fog. So I want to chat to you about how we can enhance our cognitive performance. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I absolutely would not be able to do everything that I do and everything that I've done at this level if I'm not looking after my wellness at, you know, next level health. And so I'm constantly researching all the things that can help us improve our nervous system function and our overall well-being so that we can continue to inspire and lead. So I guess, yeah, I'm... I'm committed and it's my calling to inspire and educate others towards leading a better quality of life naturally. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And and where do you, I'm really interested, Andy, because I'm I'm really, really passionate about mindset as a coach. And I'm also passionate about the toxics and stuff that's out there in the environment from what we drink to what we eat to what we have in our household. Uh, But one of my values, I suppose, that I have been challenged with is fitness and eating the right things. Where do you think your passion has stemmed from? You know, I think that, you know, there's always like defining moments in our life that define who we are. What do you think Mm -hmm. they were and why are you so passionate? Well, I think, and this is what I do as a certified food lifestyle and wellness coach too. I guide people to be able to have the courage to realize what it is their calling is. And I actually did four years on television as a TV host in Australia doing lifestyle shows. And I also did some radio as well for four years on Melbourne's 101.1. So I actually merged my love of presenting and storytelling, if you like, and entertainment with my other passion, which was from a very early age, that defining moment, I knew that I was both those things. Because I'll tell you a funny story, actually. 
Um, and we all have these moments, which is such a great reason for you to ask because if we think about it and we have the courage to listen to what our heart really wants to do and then we work on that because I always say as a coach life's going to be tough no matter whatever you choose to do so you may as well be doing it with something that you absolutely love so you just keep going no point in doing it something that you don't love but like having the courage and removing the inner self dialogue about somebody or someone or something that told you that you shouldn't be doing that because we buy from people who are passionate we buy passion and we buy when people are doing what they're called to do, and I call that inspired destiny. Yeah. So people, we smell the bullshit, you know, if yeah. it doesn't feel true or it doesn't feel right. So what was true for me is that I was always a natural storyteller and I could always read. So as a best-selling author, I've now got eight books. I'm very passionate about the language that we use that can create our reality and the information that we absorb that does the same and what we surround ourselves with. And when I was five, I realised I could actually read encyclopedia. So that's giving of my age now. Yeah. I know I'm great for my age because of the wellness lifestyle. I'm going to be 72 in July. <laughs> no, I'm going to be 49 in July. So I'm heading yeah. into my 50s. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, I could read encyclopedias at the age of five. I didn't realise it, but I was in grade one and I remember, you know, when we all sit around in a circle and everybody gets to read one page of the book, like the dog sat on the mat or whatever it is. I think that when it got to me, I was very fluent in my reading and the teacher said, keep going, Andy. So I remember reading the whole book in my best, you know, voice. And (laughs) from that moment, it ended And I looked around and I felt really sad that my friends weren't allowed to have a turn, that the whole book had been finished. She said, meet me in the principal's office at lunchtime. And I thought, oh, my God, I am in so much trouble. But when I got there, there were about eight teachers around the principal's desk. They were all standing up. Principal was sitting down and I was sort of small. (laughs) And the uh, principal, she grabbed the encyclopedia, slammed it on the wooden desk, opened it up to a random page and said in front of everybody, read I started reading and I remember getting about every 10th word wrong but just kept going and one of the teachers said oh this is a setup what a waste of my time and my teacher said no it isn't you turn to a random page then and she hasn't rehearsed it and it was at that point that I realized I'm fluent I'm a genius I'm not in trouble (laughs) so I ran home and I read the book that my father said do not read this book because you're too young and it was called where did I come from (laughs) Uh, (laughs) so the book where did I come from is about the birds and the bees and so there I am there I am had an idea I'm going to charge everybody 50 cents at school so I could read them the book so I created this little business and then a few weeks later everyone cottoned on and the parents were arguing who's teaching sex education (laughs) at the school (laughs) and so here I am you know almost, what is it, four decades later or more doing what I love and that's educating people about health and wellness and storytelling. And I think that was a defining moment for me because I was always vehemently opposed to drugs. So when I found the chiropractic profession and how chiropractic actually is about innately healing your own body and making it work at its best so that you can self uh, heal and function so much better through the workings of the nervous system, the brain. And so, yeah, that's it. That's me. I've always known it and I've always done it, but we all do get told, don't do that. Get a real job, get a real job. You're not going to be happy with somebody else's ideas about what you should be doing. So yeah, happiness for me is about listening to your true calling and then exercising that on, often, you know, just making sure you become an expert at what it is you're born to do. Yeah, and, and it sounds like that that moment was a defining moment for you to also have your voice because what I also love about you, Andy, is that you, and I mentioned it at the start, you show up but it's that authentic self. It's like it's, there's no bells and whistles. There's, this is just what I think. This is what, I, you know, and, and I love that you, you, you know, express yourself so beautifully and you've got confidence in doing that. And I know, of course, you've done the presenting and all that sort of stuff, but I think there are defining moments where people can then say, hey, I've got a voice and I can express myself. And that's so freeing to be able to oh, do that. JJ, we all have a story and it is yeah. free. 
and it's very healing. You'll see it with our first people and their Aboriginal culture. Um, yeah. And they had dream time. And I have a very good friend who is, you know, an advisor for the first people. And if you want to, you know, ever talk about them, you have to go to her. And she's been commissioned by our government to storytell. And I met her on a plane on the way back from uh, New York, actually. I'd done New York Live. And she was such a sweet girl. She was sat next to me and I woke up with her trying to brush past me and she didn't want to wake me. So I obviously need to go to the bathroom. And I was like, oh my gosh, so sorry. You know, move. Yep. Yep. And she goes, oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to wake you. You were sleeping so peacefully and you look like you really needed it. And I've had like problems with insomnia to be fair. And um, I said, how long have I been asleep for? And she said, 10 10 hours and I was like what I've never slept that in my entire life <laughs> and you know I'm drug free everything so I didn't take yeah. anything it was such a gift when she came back I said right we're going to be friends she actually landed up I ended up making her live with me she needed housing yeah and I supported her in her crusade to storytell because mm. it's through storytelling that we heal yeah. and this is why I you know, I'm passionate about helping others to do the same or to just listen to other stories. We, we recognise ourselves in other stories and then we are all the same. We are all energy. Yeah. But it's particularly important, JJ, that you have even noticed that about me. You know, yeah. they say it's the light in you that sees the light in me. And it wasn't always an easy thing for me to be a good storyteller. Um, I actually, I'm going to share something with you that's just very... It's awful, actually. Um, I'm a child sexual assault survivor yeah. and a survivor. And I've not really shared this with many people, but I think it's important to give this context to who I am yeah. because I turn my darkness into light for others. I don't want to be stifled, suffocated, choked anymore. And yeah. I remember from very early on in my healing journey for myself at the age of 19, I had to work really hard to use my voice to become a communicator. I did a lot of self-development programs as well as seeing psychologists, chiropractors, rebirth, you name it, anything. And I'm still doing so. And yeah. I guess that's why I'm an amazing communicator because I just won't have anyone not let me speak anymore. <laughs> I love that. And I think that there's always, and I can see so much of you in me <laughs> because I think, you know, they, sometimes there's these challenging moments where, and I think people have to be ready to be able to tell their story. And when they are, it's so not only freeing and healing for the person, but it also heals other people listening to it. And it gives other people courage to be able to tell their story. So I really love that about you. And, uh, and I think there's a lot of times, I mean, at the moment with what we've gone through in the last two years with the pandemic, you know, there's a lot of people that need healing right now. Mm. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, what have, what have you seen in regards to the pandemic and how that's affected health and wellness? What have you seen out there? Well, during the lockdown, I actually wrote this eighth book, which is called Connected, A Paradigm Shift in How We View Health. Mm. And, you know, that photograph was taken of me in an $8,000 Jason Gretsch dress, which I borrowed, on the eve of when the virus was going to become more contagious from 6 p.m. onwards with the right. curfews. <laughs> it's it's amazing. Ooh, 6 a.m. <laughs> so we had these curfews in Melbourne and I was like, if we don't get this shot done today because it's curfew from 6 p.m. tonight, I can't release this book. So it's a very special cover because I'm like, I'm just going <laughs> to jump on a rock and live my life, my best life in this incredible dress by a local designer. And what I'm explaining in this book is 320 pages of the best holistic health guide you could ever read. It's my whole life of how I live and how I, you know, breathe wellness and how I teach it and what I want you to understand in the paradigm shift because what I think 2020, to answer your question, gave, gave us was a great awakening and we're still awakening there's no coincidence as to why it was in 2020 with the 2020 vision analogy but we saw things differently and we still are and we're questioning everything 
And that's important because um, we're now learning how to function better, to be our best, healthier selves. Um, You know, we're no longer relying on an expert to tell us. And that's what I like to do as a coach is to empower you because Funnily enough, you do have the answers if you know how to listen. Yes, a disclaimer, there are people who have chronic illness and this isn't intended to treat, cure or heal anything. But it's about understanding that if you take a proactive approach in your health, which is what wellness is, it's a proactive approach, not a reactive approach, which is what allopathy is or the medical model is reactive care. Wellness is proactive care. You don't wait till it's broke to fix it when you're having wellness. And there's no ceiling as to how healthy you can be when you're wanting wellness. And so the wellness approach is also holistic in its approach. Whereas the allopathic model, the medical model is mechanistic. It doesn't recognize that everything is connected. Yeah. So That's what I think 2020 did for everybody. And that's why I wrote that because I want to empower you to understand how your body works and how to optimize your healing potential and live your best life literally uh, without relying on the best drugs, doctors and surgeons. Because when we do, and I'm not sure, this is sort of one of the chapters in my book, most people don't know that the leading cause of death in the modern world is actually a thing called iatrogenesis. Hmm. iatrogenesis is medical error or hospital error it's the right drugs at the wrong time or the wrong drugs at the right time so it just happens and it gets swept under the rug and even though we have the best drugs doctors and surgeons in the world don't get me wrong where would we be without it in terms of emergency care if we rely on a daily basis for someone or something to cure us and save us by the time you get to the hospital or in the hands of one of the best doctors there's still a chance that you won't make it. And this should be incentive enough for you to really work on your health and wellness. Yeah, and I love that about asking questions. And I think I think we've been, you talked about being at school and being, you know, five years old. And I, I think at school we're so conditioned sometimes not to ask questions and that we're so conditioned to, to consume information and then remember the information rather than, looking at the information and saying, is this really right? Is this, is there another way? And it's only been for me, uh, you know, probably the last five to 10 years that I've really started questioning more things. And, you know, from from fluoride in toothpaste, I mean, I grew up with Colgate Fluoragard, you know, toothpaste, and now I'm like, you know, and then I learned, hold on, is fluoride really good for you? And I had to look into that. You know, I'd never questioned that in my life. Uh, but I think that's a great thing for us to be able to say, hold on a minute. Let us let me look at this. Is this, this is what I was taught when I was little, when I was maybe a teenager, even when I'm an adult. But maybe there's information now that, that conflicts with that belief. And, I think yeah. at the end of the day, health is almost a belief system. Yeah. Because what works for us doesn't necessarily work for others. And what worked for you last year isn't going to necessarily work for you next week. And so we have to be not only um, broad with, you know, our, I guess, nutrition. So, for example, let's look at diets. We need to be um, broad with what we eat to get maximum nutrition, yeah? So they always talk about eat the rainbow. But we also need to be diverse and... Um, how do you say, um, just constantly ever-changing and being in tune with your lifestyle. So it's really important to go, what's going on for me today? Or can I question ingredients in things? Because there are more and more toxic chemicals in everything we ingest, inject, put on ourselves topically. Uh, You know, I I talk about, um, you know, ageing naturally. And I talk about, you know, being able to get health naturally because there's a natural alternative for everything so only using drugs and medication in case in cases of emergency and working with your healthcare practitioner of choice to always make sure that the end goal together will be to eventually get you off medication because medication and drugs block micronutrition absorption and micronutrition is uh, vitamins and minerals so we need those vitamins and minerals to act as wellness within our body and if we're taking drugs or we've destroyed our drug 
we've destroyed rather our gut health through drugs, which are blocking that micronutrition absorption. It doesn't matter how good your nutrition is. If you can't assimilate that nutrition or your body can't use it, then you may as well just be peeing it out. It's going to waste. But, you know, we were talking about COVID, JJ, and since COVID, there's been a recent study which estimates, it was a Harvard study, and it estimates between 22% and 32% of patients who are recovering from COVID are actually experiencing brain fog. So the brain fog is real, but it's not just from any virus because we shouldn't necessarily vilify our virus. A virus actually comes to our body because it wants to be attracted to the host that is in need of a cellular detoxification. And then when we raise the body's temperature, even though we need to monitor it, um, and it's, you know, very carefully needs to be looked at with health professionals when we're getting to the boiling point, the body innately does that so that it can kill off the virus. And that's why after we've had the sweats or the fever, we always feel fantastic and brand new and it's all done the next day. Yeah. Wow. But there's a company, um, and this is what I wanted to introduce you to, because if you are feeling brain fog from whether it's recovering from a virus, whether you're feeling like you've got too much technology around you and you're spending too much time on the screen and that's impacting your sleep, sleep is a huge one for brain fog. You know, we need at least eight hours of quality sleep yeah. um, to be able to function properly. So I've actually recently started trying Eutropics, which is a nootropics brand. So there's a lot of nootropics out there, but eutropics actually have the most amazing 12 stacked. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. 12 stacked eutropics ingredients. So brain. this one's called Brain. And Brain has these amazing antioxidants that actually reduce free radicals in the body. So that can help with slowing of the aging. But Brain's actually designed to make sure that you're getting optimal cognitive function. So it's yeah. got ingredients like... Um, You've got pinus pinus to stem bark, which is actually enhancing cerebral blood flow. Um, you've got tyrosine. Uh, you've got panax ginseng root. But then it's also coupled with things like zinc and vitamin C, which is not only good for immunity, but that assimilation of nutrition that I was talking about. Yeah. And the ingredients are all TGA listed, so they're really high quality. And yeah. that means that uh, Eutropic's brain can actually make claims because it's TGA listed. They can make claims to say, Yes, it does give alertness and it does help with your memory recall and it does actually improve your cognitive function. So for the last two months while I've been having the eutropics, I have been powering through all my work. Um, you know, I've been achieving so much more. And you're a busy so, woman anyway. So, wow. <laughs> exactly, babe. But you know what? There are so many more people to educate and teach about how to, you know, live a better quality of life naturally. So 100%. I just, my greatest fear is that I'm going to die and I haven't reached enough people. I haven't taught them enough. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. That's brilliant because, I mean, you know, our cognitive function, you know, the way that our brain works is so important to everything we do, isn't it? You know why? It's, our brain, our spinal cord, I don't know, do you still get these, do you still get these notifications when people are texting me? Are you seeing that pop up on the no, screen? I'm no, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> it's just annoying me. Go away. And can you hear the <laughs> drilling? Can you hear the drilling in the next apartment? It's, it's meaning there's creation happening. <laughs> Oops, there you go. I think you're on silent now. You're on mute now. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to touch anything. I want to tell you something. I've got someone texting me, but she's texting me in this during this call, and it's coming up one sentence at a time. You can tell. You can tell the uh, mental health of a person <laughs> when they text it one text at a time. They've got usually a little bit of anxiety going on instead of just writing it all in one paragraph. She needs those, those brain tablets. She needs a brain tablet. She sure does. In fact, I've actually told her to look after the health of her brain with eutropics and also get chiropractic care. So you were talking to me about the health of the brain and why it's so important. Our yeah. brain, which is connected to our spinal cord and then the nerves that branch off that, that's our master controller. That's the yeah. conductor of the orchestra. It is a supreme part of our body. And I'm not just saying that because it's my opinion. And yeah. it's not even a philosophy. 
it's actually anatomy. And the body recognises that our nervous system, which is the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves that branch off that, the body recognises that that is supreme because it protects it. It's the only system that it protects with hard casing. You've got the lungs that protect all the organs in this area, but the brain is protected by the skull and the spinal cord is protected by the vertebrae or the bones of the spine. Yeah. So when that's out of alignment, you've no longer got clearer signal from brain down to the body. You've actually got distorted signals from brain to body. So it's through chiropractic care and things like amazing quality nootropics like eutropics brand that can maximize our cognitive and nervous system function so that you can work at your best because it's through your nervous system that you adapt to stress, perceive the world and coordinate all bodily functions. So yeah. if you don't have good nervous system health, then you really are not thinking clearly and just not being able to, yeah, be the person that you're designed to be. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and in regards to being the, pers- the, the best person that, that you, you know, you know, success is becoming the person who you're capable of being, I think, in my head. And I think for us, health is such a big part of that. Yeah. What type of habits do you have consistently that you could give some top tips to people that you just, you know, it's because habits are so important. I've just read two books recently. One was, uh, uh, I forget the, the word. Seven there. Habits of Highly Tiny Habits. People. Tiny Habits. Which oh, tiny was habits. Amazing. And what was the other one you just said? I thought you were going to say the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Oh, and I've got that one too. <laughs> Read that one. Atomic Habits is the third one. Okay. Uh, Amazing. Well, my darling, it is all in my book. And I must say, I must say that the first chapter is about perception. The second one is about nutrition, but assimilation of nutrition. The third one is about the spine being the window to your health. And it does go on in Connected. That's available in bookstores across Australia. But if I were to give you just seven habits, I guess, that I'm right into right now, which has kind of yes. been my lifelong practice. But right now, I'm still dedicated to um, a drug-free life unless it is in the case of emergency or chronic yep. chronic illness and you've left something way too long. So yep. doing everything naturally so that then your nutrition can be absorbed better because yep. then the drugs don't destroy the gut health. So one is connected to the other. So even when I broke my ankle, for example, didn't take any medication, had it, you know, looked after in a moon boot and stabilised, but then I took the natural versions of painkillers for that. And that was, you know, high doses of um, turmeric, which is curcumin. So there's a natural thing for everything, right? Yeah. So, okay, here we go. Number one, drug-free living. Number two, proper assimilation of nutrition, so really good quality nutrition, organic where possible, live foods and whole foods all the time as majority, less packaged foods. Look for in the packaged foods, no numbers in brackets. Those are preservatives and additives, which are chemicals and they're bad for you. And then looking after that assimilation of nutrition through workings of, here's number three, the nervous system, the gut health and the hormones, which are all connected. They're all the same thing. So looking after the nervous system, that's where we branch off into taking the eutropics, which is the eutropics brand. I take two of those in the morning. I have chiropractic care regularly, so I don't wait for a headache. I don't wait for a sign or a symptom. I've actually been having chiropractic adjustments for two decades weekly. Now, not everybody needs to do that. Some people might be monthly, but you have to have chiropractic care often to make sure that your nervous system is working at its best. That's my biggest thing for slowing aging and, you know, through our posture as well, that will show you the health of a person. You know, if you've got degeneration of the spine, everything starts to distort and degenerate. You know, you don't see uh, depressed people walking around with amazing posture. They're all in fight or flight. Yeah. Yeah. So number four would also be quality hydration amazing hydration and that's you know from water filters that can not only filter but also alkalize and ionize the water it's really really important to have good quality water and more water than you even realize yeah yeah and you know what um number five i would look at the quality of our sleep 
So really, really important to turn off technology an hour or two before bed. It just disrupts that melatonin release, which is the sleep hormone we've all been talking about. So important to actually just allow proper melatonin function to occur. And there's no supplement that's going to replace that. Yeah. You can create melatonin production by spending time in the sunlight, by waking, by synchronising your circadian rhythms with the lunar cycle. So waking when it's sunrise, going to sleep when it's sunset. If you can't do that because of whatever your lifestyle, just try and do it twice a week. Yeah. Commit to maybe twice a week because people are like, I can't do that forever. And that's fine, but just see what happens if you do it twice a week. You'll start to feel better, function better, and then you might implement three times a week. And who knows what happens as a flow-on effect. Number six is all about the love. Getting to a really heart-centred space, and it comes back to, you know, having the courage to live in your inspired destiny and your calling and to do a job around that and serving others, you know. So yeah. when I talk about love and heart-centred, it's not necessarily just the romantic love because that all stems from that self-love too, but it's not even just self-love in an aesthetic way. It's self-love of knowing what we're here to do in terms of love, serve and nurture. And I think number seven would be, um, oh, gosh, just movement. Yeah. You know? And something else went through my mind and that is to have really connected intimacy with a partner respectful yeah. and intimate but that comes down to movement as well so you know making sure because we spend up to eight hours a day sedentary so you have to walk in nature which is called biophilia and you have to have a really beautiful connection with a partner if you have one and make sure that you know that healthy sex life is healthy you know you've got great communication it's an exchange of energy between two people that respect each other dearly and you're constantly moving and, um, you know, releasing beautiful hormones as an energy exchange. Um, yeah, those seven things are just supreme to optimal health, I think. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And you, when, you, when you talked about the sleep, I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, I was online last night, Andy, looking for a rug for my new house. <laughs> and I was just, I was going from one thing to another. And my husband said, you won't get good sleep if you keep being online. And he was absolutely right. I just could not sleep properly last night because I was online until I went to bed. And so it completely disrupted my sleep last night. And how do you feel today? I feel great so far, but I'll probably be, you know, I'll probably dick later on this afternoon. Hit the wall. Yeah, I'll probably hit the wall. So, uh, yeah, he was absolutely right. Um, so, yeah, sleep and yeah, that technology is, is a huge one. Absolutely. It's the next epidemic, really. And we've got to get you some eutropics as well. But, yeah. you know, have you ever been adjusted by a chiropractor? Well, years and years ago, you know, and that's one of the things I didn't expect you to say. I'm thinking that is something I would absolutely not even think about. So, I, you know, I think about, of course, what you eat, movement. I think about... I think about your vitamins. I would not think about going to a chiropractor. It was just not on my radar. So, so that's the one really thing that's missing. It's missing from everyone's lives. And yeah. it's the most important thing. Well, that's and just I just wanted to say it's accessible for everybody because if you've got neck or back pain, and let's face it, most Australians do because we've never been adjusted by a chiropractor and we've had some sort of chemical, physical or emotional stressor in our life that's impacted the health of our spine, yeah. then you're actually entitled to five free visits per year through Medicare on what's called an EPC form or care plan. Right. So make sure you ask your GP for a referral. And, you guys, if you want a referral to a good chiropractor, then please message me, DM me on Instagram, A-N-D-I and I'll refer you to a good chiropractor in your area and then get your GP to actually write you a free visit for five visits for your care plan. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome, Andy. And so I was, I was just about to say that, so all of that information is in your new book, Connected. Yeah. And I love, I have to say, it was so worth it, that, that dress, because that front picture is stunning. I'm writing a book at the moment. I'm thinking, yeah. you know, I always thought, what do, what do I want? I look at uh, Lisa Messenger's book and she's got those sort of uh, 
uh, you know, the photo of herself in, in it. And I'm like, oh, I want that sort of inspiration. Then I saw yours. I'm like, wow, that looks Women. amazing. <laughs> Women just want to, we want to live our best lives, hey? Like Cindy Lauper said, girls just want to have fun. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so how can the guys get a hold of you, follow you, buy your book? How can they connect with you and, and soak up all of that knowledge? I, I, mean, I'm, I watch you on Instagram. I listen to your uh, lives. You did a live the other day, which I absolutely loved. How can they follow you? So on Instagram, I'm most active, which is A-N-D-I dot L-E-W. I'm also on YouTube. I post a lot of videos there with recipes and content and information. Um, and then, of course, I've got um, the book available in bookstores across Australia or on Amazon worldwide. There's an ebook version or the printed version on my website, andylew.com, A-N-D-I-L-E-W.com. So, yeah, stay connected with me. I can do coaching with you as well if that's something that you would love to do. And we can do that online or if you're in Sydney face-to-face. -face. Um, but, yeah, your husband, I just wanted to say, uh, when he said to you get off tech, I think he was also probably saying come to bed, darling. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wanted you to know women, we're such powerhouses and we can do it all, right? But we also just need to soften up and sort of let the man take the lead sometimes. And it's important to say to yourself, can this rug be done tomorrow? And the thing is, it can. But guess what? When you do it in the hours of when we're meant to wake in the daylight and work thin, you become more productive too because you're synchronising, you know, with the lunar cycle. So try and, like, unwind and do all those beautiful things at night and then become that powerhouse in the morning when it's daylight again. I know. I was That addiction just clicked in and I was going from one site to another. <laughs> Look, I love your honesty because we've all done it. I've done it too. But you know, in terms of health and wellness, that's where we start to suffer, don't we? Yeah, hence why I don't take my phone to the bedroom anymore. I used to use it as an alarm, no more. And that was such an amazing, just one little habit which really made a big difference for me because I would find that I'd go to bed to read and then I'd suddenly think of something and I'd be suddenly searching and then I'd be searching one and going <laughs> all these different directions uh, online. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about EMF protection, electromagnetic field protect protection. So I have my data now, which I'm using, but I don't connect to Wi-Fi. I don't own a microwave. And I have this necklace, which is yes, um, German, German frequency technology. It's called Chi Blanco, the name. It's spelled Q-I. Blanco and yeah it, it creates a coherent water molecule state within your body so anything and everything to do with wellness I'm into yeah I love it I love it all right I'm, I'm, are you ready for your 10 firing questions let's go okay so these are some fun questions I'm going to ask you all righty so your first one is what is your favorite book that you've read the alchemist ah beautiful what is your hidden talent? Um, I used to be a dancer. Ah. Yeah. Who did I? <laughs> uh, most interesting celebrity you have met and why? Oh, gosh. Um, I was going to say probably Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, very interesting because he's really like a powerful person. Really he, he commands and people listen. <laughs> 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 I'd be listening too. <laughs> Who would play you in a movie? Oh, goodness. Um, probably myself, to be honest. Yeah. I'd like Beautiful. to do, yeah, I'd like to do me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, if I asked you to cook a dish, what dish would you cook and why? Probably my grandmother's Moroccan fish, uh, which is beautiful with fresh chilies and lots of paprika fresh coriander and then I'd lay it on a bed of quinoa gluten-free high protein lots of yeah beautiful healing herbs and I would just want you to be nourished by it yeah beautiful I'm nourished just listening to it <laughs> I want it for dinner now um what's been one of your mentors that have helped you in in life um hmm this is supposed to be quick. <laughs> you probably got too many of them. I would just probably say the chiropractic profession as a whole. Wow, fantastic. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Um, 
Oh gosh. I was just going to say oysters and I did it like when I was really young and I don't think I'll ever do it again. I know it's high in zinc, but I just can't handle the texture. <laughs> that was me when I first ate them. I thought they were disgusting, but I love them now. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe give them another crack. <laughs> <laughs> um, what Have you got a word for 2022? Um, or if you haven't, what would the word be? Probably awakening. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And what's, what legacy do you want to leave? I hope that I'm already doing that now and that's to inspire and lead people towards optimal health naturally. Love it, love it. Wonderful. Well, you can ask me some questions now. You All right, are you ready? Here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. Go on. <laughs> what would be the genre of your first book? The genre. Uh, what would I? What? Well, I don't even know if this is a genre, but this is just. It's all about um, mindset. So it's it's self development. Great self development. Yes. Summer or winter? Summer. Snow or ocean? Ocean. Oh. <laughs> Love ocean. Okay. Love the beach. What is your favorite word to describe life? Love. Oh, what yeah. is? I'm, I'm known for my love hearts. It's like part yeah. of my. Yeah. Well, we are similar. What's your favorite color? Red, and I love your flowers behind you. <laughs> and, and this is podcast up top, active wear down the bottom. Oh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Red. All right. Um, favorite cuisine? Italian. Favorite thing you would do. Uh, for self-love? Oh, there's so many things that I do, but it's self-development actually for me. I love reading and I love going to courses. I love to learn. Okay. And what's your language of love? Touch. And so, how, yeah, it's how you like to My husband and I and my, my son, the poor, poor love, I, even my dog, <laughs> they have to, we have to hug at least yeah. once a day. My husband probably five times a day. I think that's 10, actually. It's 10. Yeah, I think that might be 10. <laughs> okay. We did it. We did it. Wow. Wond wonderful. Thank you so much, Andy. You've been such a pleasure. And I cannot wait to uh, learn more about you and learn more about what you've written in your book and watch you inspire and share all of your amazing information because I think particularly now, uh, you know, in the last two years, it's been really, really challenging for people from their health and mindset. And I think some people have got on the, on the I think people, some people have really committed more to their health in some mm -hmm. respects, but then others maybe not so. Uh, yeah. And I think that we really need to keep educating ourselves. You've taught me a lot today. I never, ever thought about it, chiropractic health. And that might be so simple for you because that's what you just know. But it's so interesting to listen to your wealth of knowledge and be able to get that those gold nuggets that are going to help myself and help the people that are listening because they can just, you know, put one, implement one thing and it's going to really help their life. And I love how you really talk about, you know, toxic free and living, uh, you know, really thinking and educating yourself about what's best for you. And I'm the same in regards to uh, what I put in my body. I'm really uh, in regards to drugs and stuff. Um, I don't take a Panadol. <laughs> I know my, my husband uh, laughs at me because I'm like, no, nah, I'll just drink water. Or I'll walk it off. Or I'll sleep it off. Uh, and I just love that about you. So thank you for sharing all of your amazing wisdom with the listeners today. And I'm sure they're going to jump out and and buy your book and look at the uh, the brain the brain uh, information that you've given that that amazing uh, what do you what do you, yeah topics and uh, follow you and continue to learn from you. So thank you so much for thank you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been a fun morning. We'll have to do it again and let's stay connected. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Andy. Bye. Bye.